Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. Today in this episode, we are going to talk about how to calculate cut and fill volumes out of a topo surface using the graded region tool. Let's begin. So let's begin with this topo surface. This is the topo surface I created using a CAD file that I imported in Revit and converted that imported instance into a topo surface. We talked about this method in the last few episodes. If you haven't watched that video out, I really recommend that you do. I've given you the link in the description box. So now I have a topo surface I'd like to use for my project. At the end of my project, I also want to know how much net cut and fill volumes that I need for my project. So if I'm going to make any excavations or if I'm going to make any topo surface edits, I really need to have a comparative surface at the end in order to find out what was the original surface and how does my new surface look like and what is the comparative net cut and fill volumes between the two. So how do we create a comparative surface before we start our project? Under massing and site, there's a tool called graded region just for that. So I'm going to use the graded region and use create new topo surface exactly like the existing one. Because I have a complex contours here, I'm going to use this one. But if you're working with a simpler surface, you could also use a create a new topo surface based on the perimeter points only. Let's go ahead and create a new topo surface exactly like this one. And I'm going to name it graded. Or you can also say new one. I'm going to finish that up. So I have a new surface that I'm going to work with in my project now. I'm going to hide that particular one. And underneath you'll see a blue transparent object that is the existing surface. I'm going to select that one and give it a name existing. So now I have an existing surface and a new one. A lot of people like to separate these two surfaces into two separate phases so that they can be managed properly. If, so if you would like to do that, you can select your surface, the existing one, and change its phase created to existing. Do not demolish it because we are not going to demolish the surface. So this is an existing surface in an existing phase. Let's go back into higher reset temporary height isolate to find our new surface, which is the graded new one. I like to give both of these surfaces a name so that whenever we are selecting, we know which surface we are selecting to. This new surface is already in the new construction phase and it has not been demolished. Now I can go ahead under the view filters and filter out what I like to see. So I would like to see the show new surface and it's going to show me only the new construction object. So this is an interesting way of how to manage these two surfaces in your project. Now I have a new surface and I would like to start making edits to them. Let's go back to the site plan and let's say I'm going to work in this area and I want to make some um, excavation area or I'd like to create a small little pond there or make some kind of excavation depending on what you're going to do in your project. So this here is about 22 meters elevation and this contour is about 23. Let's say I want to create an excavation around in this area at 20 meters elevation. So I'm going to make sure that my view filter is set to show new only. And I'm going to use my surface and go ahead and edit it. And I'm going to create place points at about 20 meters elevation. And let's say I'm going to create this kind of excavation in this area. So let's go ahead and finish that up. And I have a, a little pond here. Later on, I can fill it up with some water. But for now, I have an excavation in this area. So how much did I cut or fill in order to create this kind of excavation? How do we find out? Let's go ahead and select this graded new surface that we are editing. And go ahead in its properties, you will see three additional parameters added to your properties. Net cut and fill, fill and cut. In net cut and fill, we'll get to know what is the total amount of cutting or filling that is needed. In this particular case, obviously because we are cutting a lot of part of our surface, it's about minus 995 cubic meters. 
of cutting. So this is one easy way of how do you um, find out what is the total net covering fill area by creating a graded region. In the next episode, we are going to talk about the sub-region tool and how to use it in your site design. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.